Hey everyone, here's a new video for you guys to watch. It's just kind of a quick example of uh, how not to Zerg rush. Um, here we've got a, it's a 2v2 map between Echo and I. It's uh, this guy, Jayborn, Mendicant, myself, and Echo. Uh, here we can see right off the bat, he gets to set, uh, gets to work putting some drones out, mining, um, moves his overlord, got his three larvae, nothing, nothing too out of the ordinary. Um, let's see here, at, yeah, at six, he goes and creates a spawning pool. and then sets to work replacing that drone that he just used um, and then so he's got his three larvae right there immediately goes about getting these uh, three turned into zerglings um, one other thing to notice and he hasn't done it yet yeah right there I think this is kind of one of the reasons why his rush in the end fails is because he sets all three to go straight down here without paying attention to anything that's being built and I'll kind of show you why I think that was kind of his downfall in the end here in a second so whoops right there there they are right there I'll slow it down a bit so here they're running towards the base, and now here's his first mistake, in my opinion. Here's a barracks that, look, it's almost complete. My SCV is right down in there right now. And if he can kill the SCV real quick, construction on the barracks is finished. And he'll be able to pretty much just go about me without any care in the world. But here, because he waypointed his zergs all the way over here, here, you can see that he's going straight for the workers, and then you can see I kind of respond to that, and then the whole rush is more or less, in my opinion, a failure right here. I think he should have pulled out right there, gone back, and started looking at more mid to end game stuff. He gets one right there, and then he's running over here. And by this time, Echo already knows that I'm being hit. So, see, see, tries to get him in there. The pros run away. I've already got a Marine up. Now, we've kited him around. And see, Echo's even got guys still producing. Marines come out, kill the Zerglings. Nothing, they're all gone. Now, he tries another rush right here with these guys. They're coming in, but again, we already know what's going on, so there's no there's no surprise that that zerg rush, that initial rush actually brings. I'm already going back to production, and then you know I've got marines on the way. They come here, they're still getting hit. And I'll go look at his base real quick, and again he's got okay, so he's got some zerg here, and I think there's some uh, yeah, there's a couple larvae right there, and he sets to work. Yeah, I mean, he's got him down there, but they're already gone. So, we've already got full on troop production. We've already changed our strategy to counter him, but he's still operating with the assumption that he'll he'll be able to just break into the base. Yeah, and see here he's he gets a queen, and he starts here. He's got a nice little swarm right here. Now, he's definitely this is his last kind of throw of the dice, and we'll, we'll see here why that is down here. He starts trying to break in behind our base, which is smart. That's what we were. That's what I would do if I were in his situation. You see, we're focused up here, and like he's got a nice little swarm right there, and they bust in. They kill my guys, but I lift off that. Now again, he's trying to kill off the workers without killing off the people who are attacking him and by this time we've already got a pretty decent force um, and then you'll notice here that he just goes right into the workers and slows down a little bit again he kills them actually no he doesn't actually uh, he moves them over here destroys the nexus but 
you know, he's got so many workers and so much money that there's no problem. It's not really an issue. Um, my Marines start going to work on him, and then, again, there's just nothing left for him. He, he's, I mean, the probes go in, they go through, they start tearing up all the surgeons there, and, you know, it's gone. The attack is already over with, and then in the other video you'll see here, which will, it shows the, this battle from Echo and I's perspective, his base is gone. And, except for a few overlords and some Zerglings again. And again, look, he's still trying to produce Zerglings as if he can still rush us. And uh, basically his base gets wiped out and then... And you can see, I mean, look how many resources he's got. He's got, he had somebody get both gases going. So he's got so much crystal, I mean, uh, gas there, but, and a decent amount of crystal, I suppose. But nothing, he's not building anything for it. And then here you can see all those guys rushing through. Probably a little bit too much gas, but then again, we were reacting to the situation. Um, and he comes through, and then... He brings his guys up here, but, and again, you know, here he's trying to build more Zerglings. You know, I don't, at this point, we, I've already got a pretty decent amount of Marines. The Zealots are all over the place right now. They're killing everything. He sends in kind of like a last throw of the dice. Zealots go through, they kill them all off. And then they're right back to work. And then what's you know he's got a couple larvae and he uses all his crystal up, but he's not producing anything else, so he just kind of he can't do anything. So uh, kind of ended his day right there, and then left him to fend for uh, left his buddy to fend for himself over here, and obviously that didn't work out. So hope you enjoyed the video. Hope it kind of shows why uh, Zerg Rush isn't, if you're going to do it, you better do it right or it's going to come back and bite you in the ass. So uh, thanks for watching. This is Mendicant out.